Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your October 2021 general readings. We're looking at the first half of October from the 1st through the 15th, and this reading is for our lovely Aries, the fire sign of Aries. Welcome, everyone. As I always hope, I hope you're all doing well wherever you're at. Thanks for taking the time to watch this and any of the videos on my YouTube channel for all your likes, shares, subscribing donations, feedback, comments, those of you who reach out for personal readings, every bit of it makes a difference and is very uh, gratefully accepted. Thank you. So Aries, this reading is for you for the first two weeks of October 2021. That's if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Aries. It's relevant if you're cross-watching for an Aries. It's a general reading, so of course it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. Watch all of your signs for any additional insight they may provide. And if you find that something resonates with you and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, maybe take a deeper look at something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, you can click on the description link below, that little arrow, which will show you contact details, my email address, Maggie, the number one McGuire at at gmail.com. Please feel free to email me directly. I do offer a wide variety of readings in all areas of life, and I can usually respond the same day with that information. I'd be delighted to hear from you. And I do readings, personal readings, full time. It's all that I do, so I'm pretty diligent about timely scheduling. So if you're interested, send me a message. All right, Aries, the Ram. Let's see what the first two weeks of October look like for you. Aries. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Gilded Tarot. Okay, Aries, we begin with the Page of Cups, a message. Lovely message. Love, flirtation, positive message. The Four of Wands, happy homes, celebrations, weddings perhaps, and ant the anticipation of preparing for a certain event, unexpected pleasures, unexpected uh, blessings and surprises. Uh, some of you, <laughs> some of you, your child is getting married. I heard that quite clearly. Some of you, your 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 son or daughter is getting married. Uh, others of you, it might be you getting married. For others of you, there's news about something, some kind of perhaps celebratory event that's coming in the near future that includes family and friends, could be a reunion of some kind. So this could be an invitation as well. <laughs> Next we have the sun. This is turning out like Leo's reading as well too. Next we have the sun, light, love, warmth, laughter, illuminations pressures and previous restrictions uh, lifting, lessening, or even being completely negated. The sun um, is the most positive influential card in the tarot and its ability, like the real sun, to affect everything when it comes out. The sun with the wheel of fortune, <laughs> divine timing and orchestration, which is always working in our favor, but in the upright position, there's a strong implication that it's blatantly working in your favor right from the very beginning. It's obvious, right? Divine timing and orchestration, which means God's spirit, angels, and guides had their fingerprints all over this one, right? Next, we have the Nine of Wands, often called the Wounded Warrior card, being close to the end of a very difficult cycle, a cycle that's been very difficult. Maybe you wondered if it was even worth pushing through or not. With the Six of Wands, victory, triumph, success. I almost just want to stop it here. Victory, triumph, success after a challenge, after a struggle, after a battle of some kind. This is like... Being in the last quarter mile of a race, which turned out to be ever so much longer and harder than you ever thought it was going to be, but you're there. Victory is in sight. It's all coming in here beautifully. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy for the first half of October is the Knight of Cups. An offer. Someone bringing an offer. Love, support, encouragement. I feel like marriage is here for some of you guys, a lot of you guys actually, whether it's you getting married, you and your partner or your child, maybe a, a child, an adult child, maybe that's maybe had quite some difficulties in their life and you wondered if they were ever going to get it together um, or even you or your partner. Um, there's an offer coming in. Knights are the bringers, the deliverers and the Knight of Cups is the Knight of Water, the Knight of Emotion. So he comes charging in full of love and and, and messages and roses and, you know, here's my love, support, encouragement. What a gorgeous reading. Let's clarify that Knight of Cups. What's the Knight bringing in? 
the Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, also an indication of party energy celebrating. This is about sharing your abundance, your cups overflowing, your lottery win. This is about sharing whatever is the source of this happiness and abundance with other people. The Three of Cups, the party card, <laughs> celebrating with your friends, your close friends, positive connections in your social community. My goodness. This is like party. This is like, you know, we're going to have a party. We're going to have a wedding. We're going to have a celebration to celebrate love. Clarify the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is clarified by the Page of Cups. Strength. Facing fears, doubts, insecurities. Six of Wands. Again, victory, triumph after success. So the message is, whether it's from your partner, from you to your partner, or from like your, your child or this young person, you know, I faced what I needed to face. I did what I needed to do. I did the hard thing, the difficult thing. And I'm, 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 this is the victory here. This is the victory here. And there's going to be a celebration. The celebration symbolizes what that victory is. Again, whether it's an adult child who finally got his or her life together and figured it out and now they're getting married and everything's coming together or, you know, there's this big celebration or whether it's, you know, your own particular personal situation like you and your partner. It feels like somebody got a clue here finally and had the courage and strength to face up to whatever it was they needed to to put their life their relationship whatever it was on the right track and this is the culmination of that holy cow it's just beautiful clarify the four of wands the seven of wands defensive protecting guarding not giving up the Ace of Swords, here's the getting a clue card. Epiphany, realization, justice. What is the right thing, the ethical thing, the moral thing, the reap what you sow card. The Eight of Wands, fast action forward. Again, I mean, this is a general reading, so the specific details and who, who, which side of the story you're on is going to vary. But somebody here got a clue. And it's kind of like they were late to the starting gate, but once that starting, once they got a clue, they were off and running to, and, and, you know, galloping to cover lost ground here. Absolutely beautiful. Let's clarify the sun. The Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning, moving, relocating, new job the perfect job again especially if that's about the adult child or you um the sun again the sun the sun the ace of pentacles the three of pentacles teamwork collaboration partnership other people had a part in this other people always have a part in this but specific teamwork here clarify the wheel of fortune I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is God's spirit, angels, and guides, like orchestrating, helping things to kind of come together, the right people, the right situations, the right things at the right time and the right place. Just so. The Four of Wands again, happy home, unexpected blessings, happy surprises. Eight of Swords, specifically helping through other people to help somebody free themselves from restrictions that were actually self-imposed and self self-limiting clarify the nine of wands yeah you're finally seeing it all come together here this is very similar to leo's not so much to sagittarius sagittarius had a, a good reading too but there's had a what felt like a bit more a bit more challenging. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Temperance, balance, neither too much of one nor too much of the other, staying grounded, staying in the center. Um, I think this is part of the struggle and the, the, the battle on this path that you've walked or this person has walked, you know, where it probably seemed like this wasn't ever going to work, this wasn't ever going to happen. I, you, the person, you know, um, 
it kind of implies how difficult a path to getting here has been, but how worth it it is. Clarify the Six of Wands. <clears throat> the Two of Cups, Soulmate, Kindred Spirits. The Tower, Unexpected Events, Happy Surprises. I don't know why I said happy surprises because the tower is independent of that. It could be, it's a life changing, unexpected event. Could be good. It could be, and not even bad, even if it's really challenging. It's, it's meant to create a new beginning, a rebirth in some way. But happy surprises, I'm saying that because that's what it all is. All of this feels like it came up unexpectedly. You didn't know. And it's just wonderful, whether it's you and your partner, because there's obviously home family love here. Might be, again, an adult child. The world, success, completion, achievement. Um, I'm just going to leave it there. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, and the essence, regardless of which side of the story you're on, the essence of it is the same. Whatever that wish fulfillment, nine of cups, you know, all of that is, whether it's you, you and your partner, an adult child, you know, it's it looks like it's been a long, hard, tough road, Aries maybe one that you felt was pointless at some times you despaired at points you thought maybe I should just give up back out of this but here it is it's all coming together here and it's worth it all right any final messages guidance advice for Aries for the first two weeks of October The Wheel of Fortune again, Divine Timing Orchestration. The Ten of Wands at the end of what's been a very difficult path. This is where you lay the burden down. The moon, the lack of knowing, the fears, the lack of clarity. The Ace of Wands, new beginnings, new passion, new beginnings. Here you are, Aries, the Emperor, and after that is the star. Renewed, restored, hope, faith, and optimism. This is a beautiful reading. Whatever it is you had to go through on this path, it's worth it. It's all coming together here. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to leave it there. So Aries, those are your messages for the first two weeks of October. I hope you enjoyed them. I certainly did. Uh, again, if anything resonates with you, you'd like to reach out and take a deeper look at something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, click on the description link below that arrow where you'll see my email address maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com feel free to email me directly i'd be delighted to hear from you and even more happy to work with you i will see you all in a couple of weeks for the october mid-month readings until then stay safe take care and i hope to see you back here again soon Bye bye